What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and today I want to have a quick discussion with you guys. Do you feel that if a game is being developed for last gen consoles and current gen consoles and the developer decides to can the last gen consoles version of the game that that will inevitably help development of the current gen? Now the reason I'm asking this is because I'm playing Dying Light as you guys see. I'm having a ton of fun with this game. It's open world, it's very expansive, there's tons of quests, there's huge upgrade ability, there's skill trees, there's all this stuff going on, and I feel like I'm playing Elder Scrolls in a zombie world. It's really awesome, I'm loving the game. Now Techland decided to can the last gen versions of this game probably in the last quarter of the development cycle of Dying Light, and a lot of people were feeling kind of salty about the situation, especially people who'd, who weren't going to be able to get the PS4 and the Xbox One, you know, immediately. And I feel like the final product of the game that we got is actually much better than what we would have gotten if the PS3 and the Xbox 360 versions still existed. Now the reason I say that is because developers try to create parity between last gen versions of games and current gen versions. They don't want a person who's playing a game on the Xbox 360 to look at the Xbox One and say, God, my 360 version sucks ass. They want a person to feel that it's comparable. And uh, the same way on PS4. If a person's playing a game on the PS3, the developer doesn't want the PS4 version to shit all over the PS3 version. It'll make the consumer unhappy. So they tether games that way. But the way I feel is if they completely remove a last-gen version of a game and move forward with their vision, the same way that Techland did with Dying Light, ultimately the finished product is much better than you would have got with the last-gen version of the game. Take into account the uh, Mad Max movie that's coming out in May. Of course they're going to make a game, the game has been delayed, and it's probably going to suck because it's based on the movie, but the game has been delayed. And now, according to Game Informer, the PS3 and the PS and in the Xbox 360 versions have been indefinitely delayed. Those are canceled. And uh, the PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Steam versions of it will be released in September in North America. So I'm not a big racing fan. I don't know exactly what the game's going to entail. But my guess is that the final product of Mad Max will be a lot better now that it's only going to be on next gen and PC and Steam than it would have been with the PS3 and the Xbox 360 versions tethering it. You guys let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think that it would still be alright to keep the old versions? Do you think that somehow they would be tethered? Or do you think it's just better that they release them on current gen consoles? Be sure to comment in the comments below. Thanks for all the support. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.